Some controversy in Ocado these days surrounding the indefinite suspension of the high school basketball coach. Some say the coach acted inappropriately and showed poor sportsmanship. But the coach says this is all a personal vendetta in the school's administration. Fox 11's Cameron Clark brings us balanced coverage. The Ocano Blue Devils cruised to a 33-point win in Gillette Tuesday, but they did it without their head coach, Mike Riekel, who was suspended indefinitely by the school district Monday. The suspension came after a physical, foul-filled game in Sturgeon Bay last Friday. It was Ocanto's first loss of the season. Riekel also got a technical foul. They just gave him a technical because he was yelling, but he was trying to figure out what the call was because it was so loud in the gym. There was talk of the entire team not playing, but Riekel's son Evan was one of two players to sit out during Tuesday's game in protest of his dad's suspension. Now it's starting to get personal. People are trying to attack people because of jealousy. The Rikos say this is just the latest chapter in a feud with the school's principal, Bill Slough. Coach Mike Rikl declined a request for an on-camera interview, but told the Green Bay Press-Gazette on Monday that it goes back to the 2007-2008 season when Slough's son was on the basketball team. He was a sophomore who played part-time on varsity. Slough's son is now a senior but no longer plays basketball. Rikl said, quote, he is out to get me because I didn't play his kid. Rico's wife told Fox 11 her husband was then briefly fired, but then rehired after students protested. Our calls to Principal Slough were not returned, but the district superintendent denies the claims, saying, The suggestion that the district impose the current suspension and or past discipline against Coach Rico because of a personnel vendetta or without reason is simply false. It's unfortunate Mr. Riekel would resort to such unsubstantiated allegations rather than reflect on his own behavior in the circumstance. Riekel is also a teacher at the school. He has only been suspended from his coaching duties. It was probably the worst sportsmanship I've ever seen in my entire career. Sturgeon Bay's superintendent Joe Studding was at Friday's game and called Ocanto schools and the WIAA Monday. He points to this hard foul at the end of the game where the player was ejected. But he says it's what you couldn't see on tape that was so disturbing. And then watching their coach celebrate, in my opinion, that ejection. Uh, you know, that, that just goes beyond any reason um, at all. While Evan Rico says he didn't see any celebrating and says the game was out of control on both sides. The district says it will give the coach a chance to defend himself before it makes any further decision. In Ocanto, Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. And our calls to the WIAA regarding its investigation were not returned.